What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So, you know if you guys remember but a few months back, we did an unboxing, did a couple tools in use on the new Snap-on TPMS4. Great scanner, you know, used it a bunch of times. You know, I can't really say it's paid for itself yet because this thing is super expensive, just like all Snap-on things, but I want to give you guys a review on one that trumps this. Check it out after this. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so nothing new. You know, anybody in the car industry game or, you know, that works on vehicles or whether it's dealership or independent shop, you know, we all got to deal with the TPMS lights. You know, I mean, I used to dread doing it, you know, not so much anymore because the technology is coming out. But uh, I got one here from Autel. It's been out for a while. You know, it, this one alone, you know, doesn't make it a great product. Yes, it, is it a standalone TPMS tool? Yes, you don't have to use it. But if you do with the Snap-on scanner, you know, this one will get you so far. And on some of those cars, you know, you got to break out, you know, either a scanner or some kind of OBD, you know, communications to kind of finish the process on some kind of relearns certain vehicles. But the Altel, it's an all-in-one. You do not have to use a scanner with it. This one's the TS-508. Um, got it from Altel. Uh, got some better ones. You know, they, had, they make a tablet version one that pretty much scans your car, and it's, this is built within it. But, you know, this tool alone pretty much does it all. You know, definitely a time saver. Just wanted to kind of run through, you know, some of the settings on this, some of the features it has in it, you know, the how-tos. I definitely will be revisiting this one, show you guys this one of tools in use. I have used it a couple times in the shop, but I myself is kind of getting used to it still, checking out all the features and stuff like that. But this, like I said, alone, great tool in itself, but what really makes it great is the MX sensors. I'm sure, you know, the MX sensors have been around for a while. Um, you know, they got like three or four different versions of them now, but the, the ones that I picked up here, you know, broadcast both hertz, the 315 and 433. So it's pretty much, you know, one one sensor fits all. This pretty much covers, I'd say, 98% of vehicles between these sensors and this scan tool. You'll be able to knock out any TPMS job or take care of any TPMS light or issue, you know, that you or the customer has, whatever shop you're working at. You know, tell them to get the MX sensors. You have this tool and you're pretty much covered. But uh, the sensor is definitely well built. You can see they, uh, you know, they probably look like the, the version 2 and set now on there. You know, it pretty much doesn't have, you know, one broadcast on there. It doesn't say just 315 or 433. This does broadcast both. Whatever you program into the scan tool on the vehicle you're working on is exactly what this thing's going to admit. The, it's got the quick connect, still got the quick connect, you know, the snap ones for the rubber valves. And then I, what I picked up is, you know, I got about 10 boxes of these with the snapping type. And then I just picked up, you know, a standalone box with the screw in type. And they, you know, it's, it's ambidextrous. It's, it, it's universal. It works no matter what, you know, whether it's a snap in type or the metal type, you know, they snap right in there. They even give you like a little tightening bar, you know, when you go to tighten this on the rim. You can tighten it up while you hold it so it doesn't spin and you can keep it centered to where when you plug in the TPMS sensor, you know, it stays straight on the rim. But great little sensor, you know, great little kit. Obviously, I can cut back on some of my inventory now, you know, stocking these sensors between, you know, the Nissans, the Hondas, all different types. You know, I'd have four or five different types of TPMS sensors out there. Pretty much run through the stock on that and then just pretty much stock these MX sensors and be done with it, you know. And, uh, you know, having this tool great way to utilize it you know you could got plenty of function on this thing let me power it up you guys can see and pretty much i mean we'll dive down got that glare but we're going to dive down check out some of the functions but you know it's got this little thing here when you go to program the sensor you can kind of put it in there it doesn't necessarily have to be in there you know a bunch of great features but we're going to dive let's dive down and show you guys some of the features on this thing real quick Just one. all right guys so here's the tool got it powered up you can see nice colored full screen you know, LCD screen, whatever that is, two inches or so. You know, the screen doesn't need to be huge. It's not like we're working with this scan tool all day long, pretty much just for tire issues. Uh, but it's got the quick mode. You got the, uh, you know, pretty much the first two here are the ones that we'd be, I'd be working with that I've worked with so far. But obviously, you got your toolbox. You probably got an update on there. Um, probably does the key fobs and all that stuff. You know, the hertz for the key fobs and all that stuff. And then you could review save data on it. But getting into quick mode. 
go to it, hit yes. You go through all, you know, all the cars you got. Um, you know, and it's got a lot of them, pretty good coverage between, you know, BMW, GM, you know, it's got them all in there. Um, all the years. Let's go out and then you got your advanced mode. You know, this one, you know, after you would pick your car, we'll go to uh, you know, like a Toyota. We'll say Forerunner. And then it's giving you options here, you know, what the year is and all that stuff. Uh, 2006 to 2012, 2003 to 2008, you know, these ones admit the 315 hertz. So, you know, no matter what, these MX sensors are going to take care of it, whether it's the 433. Um, some of the manufacturers did switch them in certain years. I think Nissan broadcasted on both uh, between like 9 and 10, year 9 and 10. But, uh, you know, it's pretty easy peasy. So you're pretty much... You get a car, whether you're placing one sensor or all the sensors, this scan tool could program up to 16, so these things do come blank. You could rewrite them, you know, if you, whether you, you know, you're using it on a 315 and, you know, ends up being the wrong car or you ended up taking it off. You could go ahead, as long as the battery's still good and, you know, you get a new snap-in or metal, metal clamp-in style ones, you could reuse it, you know, reclaim the sensor, whether you reclone it or however, no matter what, it'll get the job done. So, um... You can program up to 16 at once. You know, they got the little cubby hole like I had mentioned here, but, you know, it doesn't even matter. As long as they're sitting within the vicinity, away from any other ones that you don't want to program, they could still be in the boxes for crying out loud. Um, you know, you pretty much will just go to the function here. So we'll say we'll program it for an Avlon on 315. We're going to go to, you know, program TPMS. Hit yes. It's going to... We're going to go to auto create. So, and that there's your choices too. You could copy, you know, you could clone them for, for the ones that are already in the vehicle. You know, take the IDs out of the vehicle and then put them on these. So the car will never even know they were switched. You could, uh, you know, copy them by doing it in the train mode, you know, by activating one sensor at a time to pick it up through the, the relearn mode. Or you could just auto create and then it'll do up to 16 as long as they're within the vicinity. You hit yes, it'll find the sensors. Pick them up, see four sensors detected, do you wish to continue? Hit yes. You can see it's programming it, giving them all IDs for that specific car, creating the IDs for them, and then pretty much after that, these things, all four of these will be programmed for that one specific vehicle, you know, that we've got in here, the Toyota 4Runner, can't remember exactly one that I pressed. And there's your IDs. These things are ready to go. You pretty much install these into the rims, put the tires on, and put it on the car, and then go through the position, which it has a menu for that too. So after that, you go back, you'll position the sensors. Once you, you know, so you let the car know which one's left front, right front, all that stuff. You know, really not even, not even need to test drive them sometimes, and this thing's ready to go, all in one. And then if you, do, if you don't want to use them, so we just programmed that for the 315 hertz. Let's go back. Um... I want to say, I want to say Chevy broadcast on 433 hertz. So we'll go to Camaro. We got 433, you know, 2017 to 19. Hit yes. So we'll do the same thing. Um, program sensors, yes. Lay it down next to it. We're going to auto create manually. Hit yes. Picked up the four sensors. It'll tell you if it picks them up. Four sensors were detected. Hit yes. And it will reprogram broadcasting the 433 hertz. And then, as you can see right there, we got the, the snap in style and the screw on style. Almost finishing up. All programmed. ready to go in the 2012 Camaro and then another great menu on it you go out one you could actually change the tire pressure you know so say you know you're driving this Camaro and the you know the the placard says you know 35 psi and you want to raise that up to 40 you want to get a little bit stiffer tire you could jump on down to here you'll be plugging in this thing this tool does come with an OBD connector you could connect to the car and you'll be able to connect to the car it'll go to the module and you'll be able to change it from you know 33 psi or if it's 32 you know and you got a truck and you want to you know get a little stiffer ride or a better traction on your tire and raise it up to 40 
you can do that. You can raise it up to 40 to where these things will pick up 40 and it communicates with the TPMS module in the vehicle and it takes care of it no problem without having a light come on because you got too much pressure in the tires. So like I said guys, the TS-508, great TPMS tool, you know, definitely beats the snot out of the snap-on one, you know, and you guys, you guys know if you guys, you know, subscribed to me six or seven months ago when we picked this thing up, you know, we paid buco bucks for it. Yes, I've used it. Yes, I'll probably still use it at this point, but, you know, it just got trumped by all cell product that, you know, one does it all. This one needs a scanner to finish up certain jobs. You know, some of them it doesn't, some of them I gotta use the Varus to finish up the procedure, to at least do the relearn. You know, this does pick them up. I also noticed using this and using this, this one does ID them quicker than the Snap-on one does. So, I mean, you know, hats off to Autel. I mean, they make some great products. They got some great scan tools out there. The TPMS game, you know, they pretty much got locked down, especially for an independent shop. You know, this thing's covering basically all the TPMS issues I have, you know, the coverage on it, I think 98% or something, all tell claims, you know, you can't beat that. They even, uh, they even put the tech support on the back. You know, I got a little VIN decoder on the back, pick this thing up from one of my vendors. You know, you buy, you know, I bought the MX sensors. I think you buy 10 of them, you get the scan tool for free, pretty much a no brainer. I mean, you know, I can't wait to get this thing out to use. You guys let me know down in the comments. You guys want to see this TPMS tool in use. I'll definitely probably be doing it. You know, I like to find those problematic ones, not anything standard or something like that. You know, definitely knocks out the standard work, but, you know, getting into those diags or troubleshooting the TPMS, we'll see how this thing shines. I'll definitely be trying to make some videos on it, get some content out there for you guys. But if you guys are looking for it, I'll leave links down in the description, the TS-508. We'll get this thing out in the shop soon, do a video on it, show you guys what this thing's all about. You guys seen how it programs sensors, you could change the TPMS. So lots of features on this one. You guys seen how we just knocked those four sensors out, pretty much auto id them, ready to go on the car. You could do 16 at one time, not that you have to, but it's nice to knock them all out at once instead of doing one at a time. You guys also seen the menu where, you know, you get customers that want to run extra PSI in their tires, you know, the, just because the door placard says 33, you know, get that module to run it at 40 without a problem on the light or anything like that. Great sensors, like I said, guys, check the description. You guys are looking to get these, check the prices out and all that. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check you in the next one. Signing out.